friends. So about 10 years ago, when I was about a junior in high school, my parents told me that we were getting a dog. So naturally, what I did was lock myself in my room and cry. I never grew up with pets bigger than a hamster, so I wasn't used to dogs. For one, I'm not a large person, so a medium to large dog who was really excited to see a stranger would have not so difficult a time knocking me off my feet. Two, I'm allergic to the shitty kinds, and three, every so often I'd go to a friend's house who had a dog and they'd be playing fetch and encourage me to throw the tennis ball. A tennis ball covered in dog spit, cold dog spit, from an animal that I wasn't too fond of. I did not want a dog. But my brother was going off to college and somebody would have to replace him, so my parents brought home Winston. He was maybe half as big at the time with about four times as much fluff, but I approached him with a lot of suspicion because I never asked for a dog, but I'm the one who had to let him outside every day when I came home from school, and I'm the one whose ballet shoes he decided to eat the toe of. But every day I'd come home from school and have a couple hours with this little guy before my parents got home, so cautiously we started to find some common ground. It started with casually incorporating him into my MySpace photo shoots because everybody knows small dogs equal big likes. It expanded into us discovering our shared love for cheese and me occasionally sneaking him nibbles of cheddar. And eventually it grew to me carrying my little 10 pound ball of fluff with me everywhere I went. By the time we'd had him a year, I'd come out of my bedroom every morning and sit right here and pat at the top of the steps and Winston would come bounding up the staircase for some morning snuggle tie. When I went off to college, I cried the most at leaving Winston. And I'd come home for breaks and my parents would joke that I was there to visit Winston first and then second in that order. But 10 years later, whenever I drum the top of the stairs, Winston will still come running. My little buddy's pretty sick these days. He's got cancer and he doesn't always have the energy to run up the steps when I call. And I don't know how much longer we have with him, but I want more time. I want this dog. And I'm glad he changed my mind. So, in the comments, tell me about an animal you've loved, and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs> Alright, Winston, let's go.